All right, so in this video, we're gonna start talking about Siemens, uh, and this is gonna be Siemens uh, TIA portal. Um, in this case, I, I built the application on 17 and 14. So we'll just go to 17, and I'm gonna show you how to s basically simulate uh, real quick and real easy, you know, how to, how to do that through the actual um, application. So first you wanna open your application, okay? So this is going to be opening your application, um, and this is um, we're not going to be talking about how to set up and stuff like that, or how to set up processors or nothing like that. We're just opening our system, and then we're going to go to Project View. All right. So in Project View, what you can see is we have our PLC program. Now this PLC program is called Refill. Um, that's just one of the sample projects. Um, as somebody that's always trying to you know better themselves when it comes to plc programming i specialize in rockwell automation so i'm trying to branch out into siemens just because of the simple fact of there are instances where people use it um and then we have our programming blocks okay so in this case i have my machine equipment level and then global so uh then the plc programs and stuff like that so again here that's just the the basic structure of how this is laid out now how would you start the actual simulation see how it's grayed out up here so you'd come up here you would basically click on your your plc program the the lead folder for that and then you would start this simulation right here now, again, when it comes over here, this is start simulation, this is run simulation, start CPU and stop CPU. So you wanna come over here first. This is start simulation, okay? And what we're gonna do is, this is gonna actually start, give it a little uh, second to actually, you know, crank up and get to the, the point where it's at right now. Um, and then we wanna trust our connection, no big deal. So uh, we're compiling, this is compiling the program. Um, we're gonna basically load now. So we're gonna load into our simulation right now. So just keep that in mind. You can do that many different ways. You could have hit this download button up here, um, but we're loading in our simulation right now. All right, so this, and again, we're not, going, we're not online right now, right? So we can go ahead and throw our, our chassis in run by clicking run right here or up here doesn't matter so let's go ahead and do it right here and you notice we're still not seeing anything right we're not seeing any kind of where we're online or anything like that so you want to go ahead and click the go online being that we do have it simulated now uh, we start should start seeing everything pop up and everything that is actually being scanned um, or working it is going to have a green bubble bus beside it, right? So if we opened up uh, in an instance, let's just say for an instance, we opened up our equipment module for over here. We can see our equipment module that when it pops up in the actual ladder form. Now, if we want to dig into this a little deeper, now again, so here's the thing that uh, I guess a lot of people will, will probably be wanting to know is you know how do you actually physically see this and you can go online and you, you know you can actually monitor it right here you click monitor and then that will monitor that information so now you're actually seeing that information real time now let's look at let's open that up and just branch into that a little bit deeper and then we still have to do the same thing here so if we want it inside of that that actual um, that actual uh, module that we had that we built right we're going to come over here and actually do the same thing so um just choose monitor and you can easily see what's not being true what's not being or what what's being held out so we can see our next one we can see all the the different rungs inside and of this actual module itself and we can see how to do that now contrary to that let's let's go ahead and back up and let's let's take this thing offline okay so um we don't have to stop i mean we can we can come up here and you know you can break everything but what we want to do is stop the process so we're just merely stopping it we're going to click the top up here and go offline okay and then we're going to close our simulation 
okay that's the safest way to do that so you don't break anything in your program and then at that point you can save your project and then shut it down at that point so hopefully you learned how to use and how to go online and how to use the simulation um, on uh, Siemens TIA, TIA portal again this is version 17 um, when it comes down to it you could be using many different versions uh, I have the same program on version 14 it works the exact same way um, when it comes down to it I'm again this is me branching out trying to you know get my feet wet on actually using TIA, TIA portal because it is much different than Rockwell uh, but I am still going to be Rockwell Automation as my primary. There are just instances where customers need to actually, uh, they actually have Siemens and they need help with that. So this is going to be some little videos and stuff doing that. So hopefully that helped and we'll see you guys on the next one.